thought this was for PUBG. Same. I looked honestly. at my Discord and, and Trav messaged me about PUBG. I didn't know that you were doing a fucking podcast. You, What's the podcast for? You didn't know that we were doing. You didn't know that we were doing a podcast, Connor. No, I didn't tell him. I didn't even add. Nobody him to the mentioned thing. anything about a podcast to me at all. I didn't. Add, I I didn't tell him a, a fucking thing. I really didn't. We just yeah, been I was in- surprised. I'm just making sure he's not leveling his fucking druid right now because me, him, and Trav, we have a pact that we only level together. And if he's leveling his fucking druid, then I'm gonna splash. Kyle, oh, what's no. going on with your mic there, Kyle? You sound a little. What's what's happening there? Wait, what's the matter with my mic? Well, no, I just, it sounds like you're not your normal setup. Do you want to you tell the people sounds where like you are? Sounds like you might be underwater. Oh, I'm in my pool right now, just chilling. Okay, incredible flex. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I have to in my pool. It's got a really great view. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So you're at your see, pool. See my four thousand um, square foot house, and I have this big okay. view of like woods and stuff too. Okay, it's pretty I dope. I still haven't even been there. Okay. I, I, you should. You should come over afterwards. Okay. Well, uh, welcome everyone to uh, Roleplay Podcast Episode Three. Today we're talking about what makes a good RP character. McConnell, thanks for joining us, even though you didn't know you are going to be on this. Oh God. oh, God, wait, Kyle. No, no, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> no, McConnell, McConnell uh, relax. No, hell no, I'm not doing this. McConnell, Bro, why, you, why the fuck would I be involved in a podcast about what makes a good character? You have good characters, right? I don't know shit about characters, bro. <laughs> you you, you have like, some, you bro, have some it's ideas. Like, it's like you just invited a cardiologist onto a podcast to talk about brain surgery. I don't fucking know what makes a good yeah, character. Yeah, that's, got... that's, oh, oh I, I would watch that podcast. Yeah, that sounds great. That <laughs> Bro, would be, am I that would be a good podcast. I'm being, let's play PUBG. What's going on? We're not playing PUBG. I'm in my pool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. All right. I mean, all right. You must have some, you must have some takes. Oh, listen, even if you, you might, you must have some ideas about what makes good well, characters. I do have some characters. tell you. Me, Kyle, me, Trav, hit it. me, Trav, and Burn. Uh, I'm sorry, me, Trav, and McConnell. We started doing this thing called uh, pod questing when we play WoW, and we just talk all kinds of shit. Oh so yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna get into controversial topics right now, like you know, calling people out, saying mean shit about fellow members of the community, then that, McConnell will be ready for that. That's what McConnell loves to do. Okay, well, right, on today's episode, we break the no drama rule. We let uh, McConnell uh, go unhinged and say whatever he wants. Cool. Love it. That'll be, that'll be great for the clips. It's either that or you play PUBG with him. Okay, well, uh, it, looks like, well it looks like we're going all out with the clips then today. Wonderful. McConnell, you're, you're unleashed. You can say whatever you want. Um, well, I just, uh, listen, listen, listen. The pod questing thing, it's about, you know, we, we, it's not only about RP. We talk about whatever, but it's, it's and, and also... I, I don't have, like, fucking, you know, crazy opinions. I have, like, you know, just normal, I think, the, what their normal opinions, really. He's so crazy, isn't he? He's so fucking How's that crazy? crazy? How's right that crazy? Now? Do you right, hear give me, this guy? He's okay, give me, uh, we'll start, start us off. Give me, some of, give me some of the crazy, uh, give me some of the crazy opinions that Kyle says are crazy, but you think are very normal about roleplay. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I feel like, you know, I saw a clip of uh you know i i saw a clip can i talk about clips i can talk yes. about clips right yeah you can talk about whatever you want yeah, i saw a clip of you know some people uh around young dab and you know rather than you know really going with young dad's dab story they chose to do a bank truck and it, it, i said it was we- i said it upset me you know i said it upset me and and apparently it's weird i, I don't know why that's weird how old is that clip that's two an years, old. Years. That's an old okay. clip. Yeah, it's two years that's old. Real old. Yeah, clip. but I mean, yeah, but but if we're talking about an issue, you know, if we're talking about issues here, it's. I mean, it's relevant. That still par- probably happens. It is. You don't think that's relevant? No, I think it's. I think it's relevant because I, I think I think it comes down to um, uh, a lot of people. Uh, th- this is a problem. It, GTA is a great like GTA. The game is a great game, but you know, people you play it as a sirens? game. And then there's, yeah, that's me. There's, well, because I live in Los Angeles, so real life, you know, GTA. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, there's a question of how much of it is, like, playing the video game versus um, versus actually role-playing, right? Because I, I do think a lot of people treat it kind of more as, like, a survival video game, survival MMO, basically. Um, 
Uh, it, it's a shame that we didn't have travel on here because I was actually gonna ask, like, no one, no one role plays drug addiction, right? Drug, drugs in in GTA oh, uh, yeah. are, are basically like he couldn't make it. He he had something. Um, he had a uh, GF aggro, I think. Yeah, he yeah. he he actually role plays his characters as having addictions though, and it's like, yeah, but I, I feel like everyone else. It, you role play it as uh, it's a it's a stat buff, it's an elixir, you know, it's it's whatever you know. It's an elixir. And, I mean, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's real good at role playing drug use. I mean, I've never met anyone better. Oh my probably God. probably because of, he did probably drugs in the real years life. of drug use. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got personal experience with it. That's why okay. it's so good. Like, I mean, that's why he's so good at it. And he's an amazing guy too. I mean, he's one of my best friends. I love Trav. Yeah, he's cool. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I want to. I want to hit a lot about guys. drugs. Uh, here, here's saying they'll bring out some spicy uh, answers from uh, Burn, Kyle, and uh, McConnell. How do you guys feel about self inserts? Let's start with that kind of character. How do you guys feel about him? Um. Well, can we argue that Kyle Pred's a bit of a self insert? Are they? Uh, here's the thing, right? <laughs> are they funny? Yeah. Are, are they, they funny? funny? This is this is what, like a, this is like a. Like an like argument what? on whether someone or not, uh, someone's like a leech or not. It's like, are they funny? Do they provide content? Then they're not a leech, right? I feel like that's the same with self inserts. It's like, do they stand out? Know. Can they still create RP? Like, I feel like a lot of people are a lot more comfortable, especially and starting out, How playing a character that's I'm relatable a to them. Insert, you know, you you <laughs> hang out with me. You're yelling. Stop, Fred, please. <laughs> no. no, I mean, like, uh, it's like Seth, Seth Rogen plays Seth Rogen in every single movie he's in, right? So I play Kyle in every hey, character. Hey, Kyle, stop yelling, man! You do, you do play fucking you in every on every character. I'm funny. I'm funny though. Yeah, you're so funny, but fuck, man, it's like, it's like, it, you know, is there really that much of a difference, okay, between Kyle Pred? On. Look, look at this. You can't, <laughs> you can't even talk to the fucking guy. You can't talk to this motherfucker. Next question, yawn. Yeah, you are actually Kyle Pray a lot. But I mean, like that. Yeah. But I actually think that's a good point. And and Bernie, I kind of will up, arrest like, you if it's like if you're playing an interesting. If you're an interesting person, like I mean, I don't know. Like I, I like the idea of like I think like Saikuno is like pretty self inserty on Yuno, but it was kind of funny to watch him play like himself Saikuno as this like bank hacker in GTA, and then he was one of the only people who was actually like not going around shooting like he actually played a different character he wouldn't go around shooting cops he was very like peaceful and nice to everyone and i actually liked the idea of watching it like the the idea of saikuno but now in the context of gta is really good it's so, like involving to the environment of gta and how your character would respond accordingly because i feel like everybody if they were to self-insert and actually rp'd as themselves like there's a whole meta of people intentionally role-playing as themselves yeah. and like everyone being scared of just about everything that like funny. that's how it would actually go uh but like when i think a lot of people do these self-inserts they're like slowly kind of evolving their character to or accommodating themselves to that world yeah didn't uh, moon moon did a, a self-insert right yeah moon was the first one to make that and then you started the meta and then a whole bunch of other people did it yeah yeah, I, yeah that was a lot that was really fun I did it as well, and it, and it was really fun because like you like, but again, I feel like that's like that kind of role play is like now I'm not role playing as like a GTA RP like MMO player, but just put myself in the game. It's like oh, I literally put myself in Los Santos, and like if a car drives too fast, I'm like whoa, 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 like what the fuck are you doing, right? Like hits a curb, I'm like yo, like chill, why are you driving like right. this, right? Like literally playing as if as if that's real life. Yeah, I think that's I think those kinds of characters are different. Um, yeah, I, I kind of agree though with the take that's like, hey, if you can play, it, I don't know, if you can do a character, if you're funny enough and your characters, I, I think the other thing is you have to not take shit personally because that's the biggest issue I've seen with self inserts. It's pe like, how do I, how do I be mean to you, the character, when it's like, you know, a little bit of you, right? Like, if I if I go off on Kyle Pred, like, at what point am I just <laughs> roasting Kyle the streamer? Not that you're a self insert, Kyle. Mm. I'm not. Well, well. All, right, all right, all right, McConnell, McConnell, what? what? S stop, McConnell. What? Stop what? Rhett McConnell. That's the bench guy's real name. It's Rhett McConnell. If you didn't know, now you do know. Not anymore. I had Adam and Strange it. What's his name now? 
literally bench guy. <laughs> the character's name is bench guy. What, what, I think what? I and I, I think it's weird that you keep I I keep I, I think it's weird you keep bringing it up. I think it's weird. What's, what's the, weird what's the, about what's it? What's the lore of of being called bench guy? Did your parents Dude, name you that? That's the whole. That's my whole fucking. Uh, I I just lucked out. I literally just lucked out. I made a character to bullshit around with S fan. Okay, I had no backstory. I had no intentions of playing GTA. I literally just made the character hang out with S fan, and I lucked out. And it ha just so happened that 5-0 liked me because he's a WoW player. And and then, you know, I was lucky enough to be brought along to this PD stuff. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in RP. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, I mean, but it, it worked out. I mean, I feel like you started, like, I feel like you did what a lot of people say you should do, which is, like, you just start with, like, some simple premise for your character and then let it build from there. And you were literally just, well, you used to just sit literally on the bench at Burger Shot and, like, yell at people, right? Well, yeah, but how much can you really do that? I mean, at, yeah, at a certain point, you got for hours, though. So. Well, yeah, months. You did that for yeah. weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, well, you can only do this for so long. Does it for months? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, mean, I like a good bit. I really, I it, liked it. Was a really good bit. I liked the character bench, and I liked that you evolved it. That I mean, what you eventually became the FIB like director or some shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you don't want to bring that subject up. Well, that's a. Uh oh Oof. God! Why is that a sore wow. subject, Nicole? Why? I don't know all this stuff. What happened? I love the idea of the FIB. I talked about. I talked to uh, Sab about this last week. Yeah, I like. Okay, I I like the idea of um. Okay, we we all know that there's like different levels of kind of like seriousness that occur on on a server like NoPixel, right? And. There's like, sometimes you, you are, you know, people are like, oh, it's like the excuse of, oh, this is SBS. I'm like, I actually get that. I get that some people are just on there messing around doing something a little bit more low stakes. I'm like, cool. Like maybe like normal cops are responding to that. But anytime it's like some like real shit, like I like the idea that there'd be like feds that showed up. Also, I'm like, I'm really big on a uh, burn knows this. Uh, Cause it's literally all, I, I don't actually RP either McConnell. All I do is put on overly thick uh, black cinematic bars. And then I play um, music. That's literally 90% of my RP. No, I, love... I watched you play Mickey a few times. It was pretty good. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah. Mickey was the greatest mayor. I, I really liked, I actually really liked uh, role playing Mickey as mayor, but I, I love scenes, right? So I love this idea that like there's some crime scene and fucking blacked out SUVs pull up, you know, guys come out with the fucking suits on and the sunglasses. Like, I just like that, like kind of seriousness <laughs> added to a scene. So that's why I mean, I that's cool, FMB. but how do you, so the problem with that was, uh, and we, we said the same thing, like me, Booba, and some other people that are doing fucking FIB, right? Like Kiwo and, uh, you know, whoever else I hired at the time. But we were talking about, and like, where do you, first of all, I'm always riding around, I'm a passenger princess. So how do you balance having me pull up in a fucking SUV, blacked out SUV, with me just riding around all the time, just, you know, with Wrangler or Kyle? And... Also, how do you determine what situations warrant having a uh, like FIB presence, like an actual presence? Yeah. So those were questions we had to, you know, try to figure out, and it I didn't feel... get figured out, and now it's gone forever. I don't think so. No, wait. Sab literally leaked that he's trying to do more stuff like that for, um, I think, for three point five. They want to like actually have a, and I think their idea is that. But FIB... without McConnell, though. Why yeah, not? always talk to me about it. I mean, just join up then. Hit him up. Be like, yo, I want to I get in on this. I'll, I'll hit Sab <laughs> up about the RP that I was doing that he's going to do. <laughs> well, I, I, okay. I'll listen, I, oh, come on. He, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll message him for you. I think you, did, I think you did a good job of playing like a pretty, like you were a, you were yeah. a fucking hard ass as your character. And I think, I think that's also kind of the demands of, of someone doing FIB shit. Like, it should be more like, you know, intense shit intense consequences man I, I even even with the stuff i was doing like i wanted like certain even on the level of heist i wanted that when i did a heist like i was like if this goes bad like if you get fucked over like, i want my character like like put the fuck away i wanted to mm -hmm. give it that like feeling of like i don't know there I, I've, I've come up with all sorts of weird Just ideas don't be put this. away for 30 days that shit fucking sucks yeah you'd love what's going on with sanguine then because uh they're gonna kill their characters no. 
Fred's going to perm I'm going to tell them no. Don't say, bro. I'm going to tell them no. This is a perfect no. opportunity for you. You know what? Uh-uh. If we're talking about what makes a character good, how about you give the character a fucking ending and do something else? Yeah, characters need oh. an ending, but I'm not even... Uh, Kyle Pratt ain't even up for the death penalty. He should be. Well, guess what? He ain't. You should just perma him anyway. As a, what do you mean? You know what? What do you just perma him maybe, in his cell? Maybe as a last uh, sacrificial act or the, some sort of character growth, you say, you know what? Fuck it. I'll go down with the people I fucking uh, tried to start a war with and I'll fucking die for him and yawn, you know, just fucking do yawn, something. Yawn, yeah, exactly. Yawn, yawn because you don't know what the fuck you're doing uh, on that character anymore. Uh, you're just a common criminal. <laughs> just a common I criminal. Not a co- Kyle you Pratt is not a criminal. common criminal. That's all you Kyle want. Pratt you don't know how to play anything com- with fucking Kyle Pratt. I don't know exactly how to play fucking criminal. I, Kyle Pratt is a fucking warlord. I, I don't think your phone can handle any more your speech. Your phone you need is to give so it on bad. Cooldown. You need to go inside right now. I drop it all the time. And you need to go inside and, and get on your fucking computer because this shit I'm is I'm in ass. my pool. Your I'm phone is ash, your is ass cheeks, bro. Uh, a it's note to my, fucking garbage. A note to the YouTube yawn. editors: Can we please audio adjust uh, Kyle's? Uh, thank you so much. Um, Wait, anyways, how bad was it? It's bad. Yeah, it's, oh, it it's fine. It's fine. Well, I mean, okay. Here, here's another question, though. Like, I mean, it, it, characters have endings. Burn you. You're sort of the opposite, I think, of a lot of people in how you RP, and that you don't really like. What you don't have like a single character that people can point to and be like, oh yeah, that's like. Burns long term. You always come in with new characters. Do you think more people should do that? Like just make random characters and just do more stuff like that? Uh, well, I mean, I think. Remember, not everyone's a voice actor, so. Very refreshing. Yeah, I know. Not everyone's as talented as Burn. Yeah, not everybody's like you. Well, Here's the thing. The reason why I play so many characters is not because I'm just brilliantly gifted and so good at the craft and just amazing as a role player. You are, though. I actually think uh, a lot of people would say you are. Yeah, you are. I mean, yeah. that's stupid to no, say or not. I, I, that was sarcasm. Um, okay. You're uh, like, I, wh- but before you finish, what? I'm going to interrupt you again. You're like the, you're like the germa of role players, you know? You know how all streamers you look can't at. can't say that. He's, what? he's too, he's a way above me. In every capacity. No, I, I, no, what, no, you know what I mean? Like all the, if you ask streamers, like who they, who they think are like the best streamers and stuff, they're always like, oh, it's like the streamer's choice. They're always like, oh yeah, like Jerma. I think if you ask role players who the best role players, they'll all say you. Actually. I don't, well, I think there's different like quantifiable reasons what makes a role player good because I can't do what a lot of people do with, with their like one and onlys. Like, I, 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 the, the reason why I create so many characters is not only because I have commitment issues and that just comes into role play. Uh, I also get really bored. Uh, I also love listening to ASMR water noises. That just like... really gets me going. I mean, I, I don't agree because I think you, you, were, you had something with Johnny there for a bit. You were doing I something did. with that character. A lot of it got cocked, but it is what it is. That's, a, I guess, another thing that kind of, like, turned me away from, like, being dedicated to a character was I'd have plans for something and then it just would fall through. And then I just kind of give up and I'd be like, well, I'm just going to shit Lord, come up with something stupid or goofy and uh, provide something different. This is is a weird take. I'm curious if you, if you agree with this, I think, um, and again, I can't speak for all servers, but at least no pixel seems more willing to give people uh, like, tools, special access, privilege, like whatever, whitelisted, whatever stuff. If the character is not a long-term character, if it's like, oh, I'm just doing this for mm-hmm. this event or just for this, mm-hmm. they're oh, way no, for more sure. willing to give you stuff. The, the devs have helped me out a lot with a lot of things. So I feel like a lot of arcs that I had planned and a lot of just characters that I made wouldn't have been as good as they were without some help from, uh, shout out to Sky, my boy, one of the, one of the po- my pocket dev and a couple yeah. others you need to get me in touch with them uh what 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 do you think has been like your best character from 3.0 i mean johnny literally just made my career so yeah probably him i, I it, it literally was like walking around saying these nuts jokes and then it just kind of escalated from there um so i mean i think it's like a, if i were to do a top three it'd be sasuke uh, Johnny and then you didn't like Sasuke, like the weeb shit. Oh. What? I'm just you know. 
They don't like, like weird shit. I think oh. everybody knows how I feel about that. He doesn't like anime. Didn't you? Wasn't there a Sasuke versus versus Uchiha thing? No, there never was. Oh, who did? Oh no, you fought Ken, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just enjoyed the creativity that came with like, how can you make an anime character in the setting of GTA, and that was fun. As cringe as McConnell may think it is. Uh, the arc uh, you did, um, was and it then the Joe? Show, I did. Yeah. I did enjoy that. That was like the only serious arc I ever did. Yeah, I mean that. That like, I think that just also showed people you could just knock serious RP out of the park. That shit was great. Kyle McConnell, did you guys ever see that? Uh, is that the stalker one? Yeah, yeah. with uh, yeah. with April. Yeah, that was yeah, wild. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so I don't think I saw that. I don't really watch a lot of RP though. I mean, I'm more of like what? I'm like a clip watcher. I go watch like whatever the clips are, and then like I, I, I don't I don't even watch clips unless they have yeah, me in them. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. If I'm not in them, I don't normally watch oh them. God. I did enjoy uh, Red Dead. I I had a character on there I really enjoyed. That was so I... good. That that was amazing. What was your character? Uh, Ghost. Oh shit! I didn't and, see any uh, of your Red Dead stuff. Scream yeah. was really good too. Oh yeah. Always have fun with that. Um, this is a, a note. I, I wanted to see your guys' thoughts on this. Uh, except for the stuff that like you do, Burn, where it's like, okay, they're real characters, like Johnny Silverhands or whatever. Like you, you go and like make these characters, but they feel like kind of like more like event characters or they just kind of pop up randomly. Um, and I, I don't want to like call out the individuals who play here. I don't like when people make a real character their like long-term main character. This is a note on like so. I'm what makes a good RP character? We have to figure out like what What's makes an him example of that for you then. Like, it, let's say, let's say I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make my character like Master Chief, and I like, and Master and like my, Master Chief joins a gang, or like, you know what I mean? Like, because the way Burn played his characters was like those characters in that world, as opposed to oh, I. But then someone makes a gang called the Covenant and comes after him. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, um, I, I like, and maybe people like, like I, I don't know. This is like, I, I don't want to like call someone out individually, but like, I think like there's like some people are like, oh, I can do like this cartoon character's, you know, voice or something. Like, let's say someone's like, hey, I can do a really good Marge Simpson voice. And then they made the character oh, Marge. Oh, homie. Oh, <laughs> homie. Yeah. Oh, homie. Jesus. Right, but now, but now it's like, and here's the thing: you could do a, a, a like I could see you guys doing a funny bit where you go and make Marge Simpson and like mess around with people for a few days yeah, for a, a week. Bit, a bit, yeah, a bit. Yeah, but they're, then, they're bit characters. I, I, yeah, I bit feel like characters. I'm, yeah, I don't. Are there people that? I, oh, I'm, there are people. There. Are, no, I. Kyle, you know what I'm talking about. Like, Comic Con, you I know are, what you're talking yeah. about. Tons of. Yeah, I know. I, know. There are a lot I, people, I won't name any names. We'll yeah, it, it's more like. I, yeah. I think a part of this is like recommendations for other people. Like, don't make a character like something that already exists, unless you're doing it like for a bit, I think. Yeah, like if oh. you're doing it like come and go as a bit, then it's, then it's funny. But if you're doing it 24 fucking 7, it's going to get boring. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean. I feel like every every bit character has its course, which ends up being the, one of the main reasons why I make so many more characters or just stop playing that character for a while. It's got to go. It's got a global cooldown. And some people are like, no, nah, it doesn't have a global cooldown. I'll just keep doing the bit. It's funny. What's unfortunate is that there's people that like their career is just based off of the bit character. And then it's like you play, you try to branch out at all and you're punished. It's like, well. I guess this is it now. Uh, I'll try to evolve the character, I guess, but. Uh, well, it also know. it's like, uh, is there is there a fucking time limit for a bit? Like, how do you determine what a t how how long the time you you for know a bit is? You know, it's kind of like it's like, kind of like a read the question, room. Though. No, yeah, yeah uh, but I think I think it's variable. It probably it's probably read the room depends on the character, you know. Some people could just hate your bit and you just don't get any role play out of it. And then you That's just right. show face. <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard to talk about this though because a lot of people's bits ain't don't compare to fucking Burns bits. Like Johnny Silverhand was always fucking cool. When you came across Johnny Silverhand, it was always fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. but was Johnny a bit or not? Like how do you was oh, he a bit? He was several bits. So I think the part I think what the beauty of Johnny Silverhand is there were so many bits I could do. 
so it, it made him last a bit longer. But then once it started getting a bit old, and here's where I kind of disagree to the whole like having a big character making it a bit more serious because Johnny started out as just walking around and saying these nuts. And then I was like, you know, maybe I could do like missions and stuff. And I started doing a couple of those and they were actually a lot of fun. But unfortunately, a lot of it got shafted. Uh, Are you allowed to talk about that? Uh, what? You can talk about anything here. Like how you got, I got cucked. Well, there were some devs that were helping and they were no longer a part of helping anymore. Oh, uh, okay. And then there's, I, I think just, Like, I, I'd be promised something, and then it would just never happen, and then it would take a while, and then by the time it was ready or in the process, it would be like, well, it's it's too late now. Like, the, the pace of RP was moving really fast back then, so it was like, you kind of have to be on the on the trigger with it, and I, uh, I don't know, not everything's about me, man. They, got, they have a lot of things to do, right? So, like, the fact that I even got to do half the things that I wanted to do uh, was pretty pretty poggers, so... I mean, That's like, I feel like a lot of your characters time. also by nature need some degree of dev support. Like, when you did, I mean... <laughs> Dude. He just, he just, he like, does not care. No, no you know, you really can't go inside. We you really, get you it, actually dude, can't... you're rich. We get it, man, you you're have a rich, pool, you're, you're rich. You're successful, you Yeah, because you played, you, you self-inserted yourself, is Kyle Pre. Here's a question. Uh, I want to know from you guys, what do you think some of the best characters are? Like, pe people that you've encountered in oh, roleplay, it doesn't matter the server, like, people where you're like, yo, this, people you want to call and be like, yo, this person's character is really good and has always been good. Wrangler. Like, whether, Wrangler. <laughs> Wrangler. Randy Wrangler. <laughs> okay. That's my Ned Elf laugh impression there. Uh, I, I've, I've, I've said this before. I, I... As someone who's never done any, uh, well, I've dabbled in cop stuff, but found it way too fucking, I, I just couldn't do it. Um, I'm just not, I don't have the attention span. Uh, I loved uh, Wrangler from a uh, uh, perspective of being a crim because er like that was the shit where, you remember you were saying like, how do you determine whether something was going to raise the stakes or not? If it's like, you know, an FIB car pull up. Listen, as a crim, if, if you saw that it was Wrangler, your fucking heart rate shot and you immediately just switched. Everything changed to more uh, serious. And it was yeah. like, I actually love that. Um, and to this oh. day, like, I think some of the best role play that I had out of a bank heist was a job that went completely wrong that he foiled. I, you guys ever see that? The one where they, they found out that we were robbing Polito and then they switched out all the cars. Oh, I think... I think I did see a clip. Yeah, I that think was I yeah, that was a good one. That, that was, was a really me. Good one. That was me on Mickey, and we're like, we we set up this whole fucking job to fucking boats across the Alamo Sea. We get out of the boats, we run over to our cars, <laughs> and 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 I thought the game. I I actually thought the game was scuffed. I'm like, bro, I can't open the fucking door. You know, it's locked. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to like unlock, and all of a sudden, boom, just cop cars everywhere. Put your fucking hands up! Oh, we got. Oh my god, that was. That was probably my favorite L I think I've ever took. And again, that's because it was Wrangler. And I think like his dedication to just going, uh, and it's not only that he goes hard on Crims, but I actually think he has a lot of patience on the character to build up those scenes. So yeah, I, I think that's a good choice. Kyle, what about you? What are some of your favorite characters? Do you guys, do you guys hear the nature sound? A little bit, yeah. Nobody hears shit, man. Just give the character. Oh, uh, well, so re, re ask that question to me. Uh, I'm that. curious, who are some of, who are like your, you know, your choice, our peers' choice? Who are some of your favorite characters? Uh, they even mm. can, whether it be in, in No Pixel, Wild RP, Ignite, wherever. Mm. And you can't favorite say Kyle characters. Pern. Yeah, don't bullshit either. Don't bullshit. No bullshit. Uh, I'm a big Wrangler fan. Uh, that's why I always well, protected we just, Wrangler. We just, we like just talked about him. We just talked about Wrangler. I know, I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm adding my two cents to that. Okay. Point. I'm just saying that's why I always liked keeping Wrangler around because even though he was a fucking asshole, he was a good example of give and take in RP. Yeah. Like he would he would give and he would take. But um favorite character. Oh man. Uh I really enjoyed uh I think Peach was really funny. I really liked Peach. I really liked Crystal. I really liked Gunner. Gunner was another one that I really liked. 
remember when Gunner got the uh, the VR headset put on him when he was uh, suspended or fired from the police department. That was a, that was really cool. That was actually one of the coolest arcs. Because you remember how what was that uh, the heist with like the VR headset? Oh um yeah oh, the VAR yeah 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 he 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 some so I think it was Michael Simone put him in a VAR headset or something like brainwashed him and then he like went and like blew up the tuner shop and stuff like that 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 was really cool oh, I really shit, I missed that arc that's sick yeah yeah that one that one was really cool that was a really cool one and then um yeah. Keep it short. Trav like really that. does just fly with, with the seat of his pants with his characters. It's like, yeah, all right. But Gold, it Goldie always made me laugh too in Wild and on Ignite. Goldie was always funny. Um, Kylie's uh, character that was uh, like a southern criminal was really funny too. It was supposed to be like Daisy Underwood. That was hilarious. That, that was hilarious too. Was that on Wild RP? That was on Ignite. Oh. Daisy Underwood it was so funny. All right, now this will be great because now we have, you know, even though he won't accept it and is way too humble, we have the the RPers choice of our like again if you if you pulled all of the you know RPers from, I, at least from no picks on those who've experienced you probably all like you would easily be in the top three for burn ninety percent of people, but burn. Well, it's kind of funny that none of you guys mentioned me when you're talking about. Your well, no, okay, well, re uh, relax. I'm, I, I'm curious. What are your what What are some of your favorite characters? Like, well, I'm I'm also more asking about kind of like long term characters. Man, I'm gonna be honest. I love me some Fingal Dan. The amount the amount of yeah, RP that Chief has provided for so many people. I, I think him and and Space Boy have like a really great thing going on in terms of just including just about anyone and everything. Like, I didn't even really know who Jenny was until she she made Peach Ingle and then made Peach. You know. And uh, it's just, I, I don't know, I, it, it's like a comfort to me. And his laugh is, is amazing. And his bits are great. Always good. So I, I, he do, has good I bits. do love me some Fingal Dan. Fingal Dan is a comedy genius. Because like, he's, he's a big character as well. But he, he I don't know, it, it doesn't get old. Yeah, but his bit turned into a whole fucking family. The bit was so good. That's, yeah, the, bit the, that's was good. the thing. The bit was so good. That people, including myself, had to make Dan characters. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I, I don't think I've. I feel like any time I've ever role played and ran into the Dans, it was always it was always content. It was always great. Um. Okay. Well, I, listen. I, I I have to. I'm gonna ask a more pointed question because I'm like, what what are some of the criminal characters that you guys like? Like you know, like true criminal characters. Where like, yeah, this this person who you know, someone who's like really maining a criminal character. I feel like you guys have named a lot of, you know, mostly, you know, cop characters. I'm curious. Who are like the crims that you guys are like, like oh yeah, Spiegel we like. was a crim for a bit. <laughs> I like, I like, I like Forehead a lot. Forehead yeah, Forehead's, Forehead's pretty fun. good, man. Forehead's I heard a really lot of good. people Forehead's really like. the best. I heard a lot of the cops love interacting with Forehead, actually. I, I really like Turk and Marty, too. I like all those GG guys uh, after playing with them for a while. They're all really great. I really like those guys. I like, uh. I like Zakid too. I think Zakid's funny. You know, one thing I actually really like about um, the character Marty, um, Omi is Omi will actually play the character dumb, and and does like I, I have any number of interactions on like Mickey with Marty where like I'll be saying stuff and he'll purposefully like just play his character in a way that Marty's supposed to be stupid, where I I genuinely know Omi like knows what I'm talking about because I've talked with him about like he'll he'll really di like differentiate between the character and himself in a way that makes a character look worse and I think anyone who's willing to do that like put like intentional flaws into their characters I, I always love when people do that yeah he's been a oh, punching no, bag start quite it's often. starting to rain oh no go the fuck inside now <laughs> starting it's starting to rain you're on a fucking podcast Kyle you understand starting that <laughs> what a dickhead um, oh speaking of which dickhead's a good character too let's trap I, mean, yeah. I don't know how much you guys would interact with him um, I, uh, Leslie Lindbergh I love the oh yeah oh, I, love I love the character oh, Leslie I, yeah Nidus is very Bro. we were we were talking about that I used to play with uh, I used to play with Nidus all the time yeah we talked about uh, it yesterday actually we did yeah yeah, I loved uh, Leslie Lingberg. 
I still do. I mean, he has probably one of the best voices. Yeah. Oh, the, oh I'll, yeah. I'm going to head inside now. I'll get on my PC in a couple Alrighty, minutes. bye. Okay, don't wait. To, oh, oh, my God. He left the call, and it's going to ruin it. Uh, okay, well, when he joins, it'll fix later. I'm so sorry to everyone. The overlay. Kyle's now ruined the overlay. It'll get better. Um, the you know, he was, like, one of the first people I actually ran into when I got on the server. Really? Yeah, he just randomly picked me up in his car, and... uh he took me to some the the I think it was the Russian docks, and then he was trying to show off his fucking boat or airplane, and I didn't have any control set up for GTA, because playing on no pixels my first time playing GTA on the computer ever, and uh, so I had nothing set up, and so I fell into the water and immediately drowned because I didn't know how to fucking swim at all. I yeah I think I I think I drowned my first day as well. I think the swimming in uh, GTA is a little uh, a little scary. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, do you guys think more people should learn uh, accents and or like try to like expand their voices a bit? Because I do think voices yes. make some characters really good. Oh yeah, voices. They're hard though. They're fucking break. hard. Um, I Johnny think wouldn't be the same without the voice. Mm -hmm. I, I I I mean, Burn. I, I'm curious if you agree with this take because this is something I'm learning. I, I suck at accents. Like I don't think I'm good at them, but I try. And I think what I've learned is that. Um, I think it's just getting out of your comfort zone and trying because I've learned that the more I do an accent, I can actually like I actually can get it passable. At, like I, I think anyone can learn an accent. They, it's just putting yourself out there and realizing you're going to sound awful. I'm trying to do like a fucking Cockney English accent. And yeah, I slip into Irish and Australian at times. And it. Oh, man, dude, I always mix up like Irish and Scottish. Well, I think the thing that really helps oh. is. The person I'm, I'm, I, we're doing it as brothers, right? Uh, it's a streamer named Elam, and he is British, and he knows, he really knows the Cockney accent, and it's not his normal accent, but he can like really do it well. And so, like half of it is me just hearing what he says, and kind of like repeating it to like get a sense of it. But I feel like more people should try accents because I don't know, man. Character voices make stuff so good. It makes a huge difference in, like. <laughs> Honestly, that is uh, the biggest thing that stops me from making different characters is I only have one voice. I can only do me. I can't. I can maybe like throw in a southern accent, but that's about it. And I think being able to be as versatile as someone like Burn can be is what really separates. Uh, it, it makes it, it just makes it really obvious, like who's on a different level of RP if you can do shit like that. What is the thing there? Like, I feel like people also undervalue just being able to, like, you can just change the pitch of your voice. Like, that can still do wonders. There's, there's some people that can go really low or go really high. Uh, you know, some, and, and you just, you got to experiment a bit. Best experimentation I ever had is in the shower. I'm back. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Kyle. We're talking about how people uh, for should. more than one thing. We're talking about uh, people who should learn more voices. Um, Definitely and... not me. Jesus. I mean, you oh. can do Marty. Wait. You... Wee -wee. <laughs> I mean, that, that's... Wee -wee. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly good. what fucking Burns talking about, is it? Yeah, literally just changing the, the pitch of your voice. Go high or low. That, that's a whole other character right there. Kyle Pratt's not going to sound like that, right? <laughs> Definitely, Dude, unless he inhales a balloon. I, True. I I think I've told this. I've told this story to my chat. I don't know if you guys ever. Uh, you guys probably haven't heard this story. I've told it to my chat, and I've never told it in the podcast. One of the funniest things that happened to me with voices. I, I didn't really in early 3.0. I didn't really understand the whole like people do different voices and stuff. So uh, in Rust, it was the like you know like Abe and like OTV's Rust server was like leading up to 3.0, the big fucking Rust server that a bunch of people were playing in, and I played almost every day with Buddha. And I was always hearing Buddha's voice. Yo, blah, man. Fuck you doing, man. Like, you know, like, and, and I, I very much knew what Buddha sounded like. And then in 3.0, I met this character named Lang Buddha. And I didn't know, I actually did not know that that was the streamer Buddha for like, I think like a few weeks. And then it finally clicked. I was like, oh, wait, that's Buddha. Lang Buddha is Buddha. Because this is also back when he had like the old, old Lang voice. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, and it was, uh, yeah, that was, that was a, that was a twist for me. Um, all right. Since you guys uh, mentioned that Kyle Pred is just another criminal, 
uh, what character types do you guys think are kind of overdone? Like, what's like what's like a character archetype that you see all the time on on No Pixel or Ignite or wherever? Uh, like, there's a reason it's a stereotype, but the cool guy, tough yeah. guy. I'm not scared. The cool tough guy. Mm -hmm. The uh, I I actually. <laughs> Yeah, the what is it? The gang Tough member, gangster. the gang member starter pack. Yes. The, Wait, what? Oh, okay, oh, McConnell, the gang member starter pack. Okay, it's like Zoomer haircut, uh, shirt off, has tattoos, uh, class two on the back, all doesn't fuck with the cops, never snitches, um, die hard for their you know die hard for the game. They're a shooter and they're a driver, Ooh. and they're they're learning how to be a hacker. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're in the process. Of yeah. Yeah. That's that's the <laughs> that's, lessons online. Yeah, they're taking night classes at the college. Classes to learn. Um, yeah, I got the, a wiki I go to. <laughs> Chase yeah. Clowder was a good character too. I was so upset that we didn't get the NPC chases in the city. Yeah, dude, that shit got nuked so fast. Holy fuck. Um, I don't like uh, tough tough racers i feel like tough races it's everybody's a tough racer am i wrong gotta have a thick skin if you eject out of that vehicle you know yeah I mean, well, you know what i mean you know what i mean fast you almost well you almost like i feel like there's something you said it's like if your character's main like kind of purpose is like a racer and then like when shit gets like actually violent and guns are drawn and you're like bro i drive fucking cars you're like yo like let me i don't want to be a part of it like I get what you're saying there, where it's like I'm a racer and I'm also a gang member. But, yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Um, I feel I just feel like I see it a lot. I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, like I, I, I feel like I. This is weird. It's like I want to see more characters that are like, yeah, just kind of afraid or like just, or like, I don't know. I, again, this is In limits. Yeah, they, like or or they have like a set thing like um. Uh, Saikuno, like again, one of the reasons why I loved his character, you know, was he did not, he didn't shoot cops. He just would not do it. Um, and even when like his boys were doing it, it's like, he, that was like a hard limit. They wouldn't do it. And then when he finally did, like after two years, it was a really big deal. Right. And like, it, it made it, you know, it made that moment bigger that like, you know, for so long his, his character wouldn't do that. Yeah. I, I think the, uh, like uh, this is a tough one but it's for um this is actually one of my takes for cops uh and again maybe it's because they they don't it, it, they're dealing with all sorts of different people all throughout the day but like i don't like the um the cops that will not um that won't strike a that won't strike a deal or won't do anything out of the ordinary and and i have to caveat this i know the book yeah, I know there's rules where you guys are actually not allowed to do that, but like, um, basically all the time when I get caught on, when when I get caught on Mickey or even like other characters, I always try to like do something different, where like I'm like, okay, you know, I'm caught like, how, let's work out a deal. How can we like, you know, what what's like a different punishment we could do? Or like, oh, like let me you know do this for you guys or give you this information or whatever i would always try to do stuff like that and there's just a lot of people who just seem like their default was just always no to that that was uh you know that was one of the things that i remember catching you with wrangler that one night we set up the sting and you wanted to tell wrangler about some coke thing and i think it was like some mechanics argument or something like that that was so, he, by the way one of my favorite scenes of all time was us yeah, was in the cool. oh my god us in the fucking alley and the cars pulled up holy yep. shit that was sick yeah um well and okay i it, wish he had i wish he had taken that because i agree that you know also i mean i play play mac right and i i wanted to get out of shit with the cops and i like deals and i agree that you know i wish that they would do that more i agreed with i agreed with penta's take or like Penta's thing, like he didn't. Uh, so at first he didn't want to do it because it was a mechanic thing. Um, but for me, I was I, w I didn't want to like expose the mechanic. I more wanted to be like, hey, like when this happens, the cops can like more actively try to look for us. But I, it actually ended up on us being like, I, I think we agreed on the next time someone does a coke run, I will 
Yeah, so it wasn't a mechanic thing. It's like Mickey will basically snitch it and go undercover with Wrangler to catch them. And I agreed right. to that one, and I wish he had said yes. But, I mean, he had reasons not to because, I guess, during all that, like, I don't know, like, Viggy and them had, like, cleaned out the manor or something else happened. But, yeah, I mean, like, I, I think, actually, uh, Penta on Wrangler is a good example of someone who will do uh, different de- – like, he's someone who will do deals or do stuff like that. I, I don't like cops, though, where it's, like, where – it's almost like they're going through the process of, hey, caught you, let's process you. Basically, my thing is anytime I get caught, I want it to feel different than just another day of you're caught, 16 months, go to jail, mm-hmm. whatever. Kyle might have an opinion on that because he was playing Hack Carl the other day. And, uh, well, ju- I mean, you can tell him. Uh, no, no, no. How about you tell him, McConnell? Okay, so basically he was playing Hack Carl. And Hat Carl has had a uh, a like a broken gun for forever, like probably close to a year and a half, maybe or something like that. And he's always had it on his back. It's a, the story behind it's a decommissioned fucking gun he got from Vietnam, and uh, so he got he got fucking placed in cuffs because he didn't. I don't know if Kyle's trolling or not, but he said the character said that he didn't know that he got fired, and. They so they put him in cuffs automatically. Didn't talk to him, and I. They would not do anything, in order to work with Kyle, to to let him keep the gun at all. They would do nothing. It was just, the, he's in jail. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't have been here. That's it. It was shitty. It was pretty bad. It was shitty. It you was fucking shitty. tell it was him. Boring. It's your fucking story, asshole. No, I mean you're just as mad about it as I am. It was bullshit. <laughs> It was fucking bullshit, man. It really was. There was like no wiggle room on any type of fucking conversation or like understanding. It was just, it says this in the legislation charges will be pushed. It was fucking boring. It was dog shit. Okay, but now I don't even want to play Hack Carl anymore. I don't even want to play Hack Carl anymore don't because say it's just, that. now. I, now don't no, 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 it's true. Don't I don't. That. I don't even want to fucking play Hack Carl anymore because I can't even get IFAX. I can't get panic buttons. They're the ones that came after me for something that wasn't even like a huge thing. They ruined it. It's their fault. Right, but the okay. So the whole Fuck point. This is why man. I don't RP anymore. Too. Okay, but the, the whole con- the conversation <laughs> is what? What would you have rather have seen the cops do? In order to work with Hat Carl, in order to get you to keep the gun, that's, uh, that's role what... play. I don't fucking know. Be like, oh yeah, it is just a decommissioned gun. That let me look at this. Oh, it doesn't have a firing pin in it. Oh, I get it. I I, 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 do I don't more, know. It was a little, I do wish more list. people would go along with like go along with that, or like not to like force RP on people, but like I, I'm curious. Did you just say it, or like if it was me, Kyle? Too many of these cops fucking suck now. They uh, oh, you know what. God. Dude. Too many of them. I need to grab my groceries, and I'm going to be back to yell more about how dog shit most of them are now. Okay, well, okay. walk up. Okay, Burn. How about how Burn? You, yeah, <laughs> Burn. How do you feel about it? Because, like, for me, I actually think more characters should um should kind of. Wow, he really did switch up to be a crim. I uh, told character. you. Oh my god, he's he's just like every other crim main. Oh my god. I told. That's what I said. Um, I think more people should be okay with kind of like it's weird i maybe people would abuse it but like you can do maybe like a little bit more kind of forced rp with like me effects like for instance if it was me in that situation i would have wrote i would have literally wrote like slash me gun on back is decommissioned vietnam gun right or like i literally would have like wrote something like that to be like pretty explicit to them i would have just i would have said really (laughs) really 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 Really? Right now? Really? Are you are you serious? <laughs> no, but like I, I get what you're saying. I'd already be opening up the forums and you know. I just feel like uh, you know, if you're gonna play a by the book character and you encounter something that's not really in the wheelhouse of like, you know, reality, uh like having hat Carl have a fucking gun from Vietnam, you know, make some Make some concessions here, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think that's crazy. I could see people abusing stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I do think sometimes it's like, it, it, like I, I mean, I, I had a when I was mayor, I literally had a class two in like the mayoral office, 
the like, this is actually a great example. I had a class two in the mayoral office that was literally given to Mickey by I think it was either Gunner or Wrangler that was from the first um, whatever come unit pump that they did where they got the first class two, which Mickey funded. And the idea was like, oh, like, and again, it's like it was a broken class two gun. And it's like the idea was like the role play was it was supposed to be like mounted on the wall as like an example of them cleaning the streets. Right. Um, if I got charged for that, I would have been so mad. Like, I'm like, what, like, what, like, why, why are you doing this? Right. Like, I think sometimes I think it's that kind of stuff where it's like, Hey, like this, you know, item that's illegal or this thing that by the, you know, by the game mechanics should go this way. Hey, let's role play around it a little bit more. I think if people are genuinely trying to be creative about something, uh, they should be rewarded for it. Because there's a lot of things in, in the base game of GTA, even with all the amazing work that the devs have done, that you're still limited on. And sometimes you do have to like resort to slash me's or just RPing it out. Uh, but some people just don't don't even take it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like some people just, uh, some some cops might be a little too by the book. And I, I you, you kind of need some you of those can... cops, to be honest. But you do. Uh, like, if, you, if you're having an issue or something or like you're like oh this is a silly character my character uh wouldn't be caught interacting with this type of person or it doesn't really quite make sense then just get another freaking cop what do you mean get right? another what do you mean get another like, like ask just for another get a one different cop in, on scene that enjoys those types of encounters or interactions or that that will enable that rp i guess mm. you can be by the book and not be anti like people's role play you know what i mean like you can still be a stern hard ass by the book cop and not like completely dogpile everybody's shit honestly that's one of the uh that was one of the things that made finding people to like how do I say this? The the FIB thing made it really easy for me to tell who would go along with something and who would not. And uh, I really appreciated the people that did. And I, those are the people that I really liked RPing with. Bro, talk more about the FIB. Talk more uh, about I, that. I just, dude, it was a one example. I mean, I, I, I actually, talk I was, it. I'll talk more about it. I was around when, that was back when I was still role-playing really regularly on Mickey and my whole thing was I wanted Mickey to like seem super supportive of the, like he was basically granting them all this shit because on the other side, like Mickey was terrified that the FIB would investigate him. And I, I wanted, that was actually they, they, like, you were guys were the ones who I wanted to eventually like investigate Mickey for all the embezzling, which to this day, I, I like, it's like, it's like the biggest, uh, it's like uh, that was the biggest time. Well, okay. The two times I've ever been like, Giga cucked in GTA roleplay was that, and then me and Buddha when we did uh, Ski, uh, the fucking cryptocurrency agency that was masquerading as a, or that was actually a cocaine uh, empire underneath it, and neither of them got investigated, and and I I wanted them to be like I wanted to go down in like a blaze of glory, like those are two like fucking huge things that I I wanted. I, to I can tell you something that that'll that'll like clear some of that up it's uh some people are really have a hard time investigating stuff when it comes down to it being so intertwined into a mechanic so they kind of just like don't do it yeah i forgot who i messaged about this but i told i think i told uh nathan who plays crane i think i told people i was like i'm okay with with like uh money financial stuff on no pixel is so hard to, on any role play server is so hard to fucking do um, but I was, I was down with them, like pulling my financial records and like investigating me for that. Cause I stole like 20 million from the state and I, it, it was like, it was pretty obvious. Like I really, I, but like, that's like one of those things where I'm curious cause burn you, you do this. Sometimes you plan stuff, you know, off screen with people. I know role play people are like, Oh, it's like it's supposed to be improv. It's unscripted. I think a general thing that would help a lot of characters in RP and a lot of arcs is to have some degree of communication up front. Like if I'm going to do a fucking embezzlement as the mayor, I think me messaging, you know, high level cops or people in the DOJ and being like, yo, this is happening. You guys can invest. I want you guys to investigate that. I think that's like a fine thing to do, right? So you want scripted RP? You want scripted RP. You want you. That's what you want. 
Burn, help me out. Here. Burn, you know what I'm saying. Burn, help me out. Burn will explain this better. I want like scripted RP. Not I've, I've never heard of that. No, not scripted. Like you know, like like. Wow, how could you? Like an out, I like not scripted. Like an outline, you know. Uh. Because Burn, you set you set up some stuff with like um. With with Foosley for for the here, April right? uh, no, arc, that right? was all. That was all off the cuff man I'm no kidding. there was there... some stuff that i had like an idea of uh, i kind of played it how i guess a dm would dungeons and dragons they may plan or like have ideas for certain things but how it plays out you can't really control because it's role play right so adapting to like what happens like you uh like for instance i had like several different endings for the whole like joe arc because i wasn't sure how it was going to end uh but i knew there was like two finalities it was like either uh so and so either my character was going to die or live and then based on that uh there'd be an outcome and i also wanted to make like a cool little cinematic to like conclude it all uh so i enjoyed that aspect of it and i, I think there's moments where i think planning can can be good but i think i think people that plan and just stick to the plan like Oh, like it has to go this way it's make or break that's cringe that's yeah, not going I, to happen it's yeah unrealistic. And, and that's i i that's what i was kind of saying though right like i wasn't saying hey i want to yeah. be investigated this way and get caught it was more like it's more like yo i'm doing a thing i i want you guys are welcome to go outside the norms of whatever investigative procedures you guys know like you guys are allowed to go hard on me and like do this in whatever way you want and i'm okay with the consequences Right? Does that mean that I'm I'm like scripting it that Mickey gets caught or not? No, it's like it's more like, hey, I'm opening if anything, I'm opening up the door to more possibilities. Cause honestly, the way it was done, I just would never have gotten caught. And that's kind of what happened. Cause they they're just never gonna it's hard to track financial crimes, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, Today, I'm just fucking with you. I know what you're talking about. Fuck off. <laughs> Damn it. Um I mean, yeah, obviously I know what you're fucking talking about. Yeah, I, I mean, scripting RP is totally different than suggesting that something's going on. And hey, you know, yeah, feel free yeah, if, if you want. If you're like fully scripting it, like this is how it needs to go down. I mean, there was a guy that no longer RPs on the server anymore that I think was like scripting stuff or like had plans for things like, oh, man, I can't wait for us to do all this. It's going to be sick. You know? What? What? Who's that? Don't worry. Uh, At least give us a hint. Say? Yeah, give us a hint. I don't. It didn't. It didn't really matter too much. I don't think. What they're the fuck is now, this though. bullshit? They're banned. Oh, oh they're, right? banned? they're yeah. banned. They're banned. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways. Pussy. Um... <laughs> Let's start with the P. So there you go. There's your clue. Okay, Penta. Yep. Wait, it was Penta. He hasn't logged in no pixel for a reason. That's why he scripted everything. I think he's naturally <laughs> oh that funny and God. that gifted and everything. I he knew does it. When it comes to role Hell play. no, he's not. No, <laughs> he literally pays a guy on Fiverr to play as Randy Wrangler for him because he's mechanically not good at the game, and then he just does the voice. I do the same thing. I, I learned everything from him. Wait, that's actually. Damn, I should do that. I should like. I should pay. Um. That's a joke. No, that's actually, a, wait, what a great idea. I should pay It's Timmy. Uh, I'll have him come in and, and I'll play as the greatest sharpshooter ever and that'll be my character. And then It's Timmy will just play GTA for me and just clap everyone and hit headshots on everyone. And, and I'll just do the voice. Clap until they don't wake up. Clap until they don't wake up. Um, Perfect. That would be a fun idea. Have someone, you do all the voicing and they do all the moving around. Well, I think, oh, wait, no. I was gonna say I think Space Boy did something similar, but no, I think he just helped people that never RP'd before create a character. Yeah, he that's what he did. Them. He just helped people. I did one thing where I had like a Discord call where I had like viewers tell me stuff to do and I just do it. So they became like they basically controlled the character. Oh my bro, God, I st actually no, I was good. I was gonna say Buddha did that actually. Buddha had Abby controlling Lang and then he would do the voice. That like that actually how like they did that for a while. I mean, yeah, like, and uh, there was notably less uh, Buddha car crashes during that time because Abby would actually drive safely. Um, yeah, when he was sick. Didn't he, he also, like, just vo voice as, as Buddha, too? 
on occasion. Oh yeah, like when I think when Buddha like goes to the bathroom for some shit, she'll she'll answer the phones so and be like, "Hey man," <laughs> and she'll try to do like his old voice. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the best part. Is it's like it's like new Buddha, but like when Abby takes over, it's the, like she tries to impersonate the old Buddha voice. Oh god, that shit's funny. Why do you stop doing that? Is it because of the voice hurt? It hurts thing. He um, there's there's a literal reason. I yeah, back on character voices, there's a uh, a specific point where they did a job. This is back when like Hassan was still playing. I think it was like him. Uh, it was like with Donnie, Nino, and Tony, and they did a bank job, and Buddha like yelled and screamed and was so fucking excited that they got that they got it done, uh, that it like messed up his voice and he couldn't do the old Lang voice anymore. Oh fuck! So like, I, I think it's that like can that happen. I think that voice like strained him. Yeah, I think it was already that the voice strained him, and then after that, it's like his new like the new Lang voice is still distinctly Lang, but like is kind of more in his register. Um. Yeah, uh, that's understandable. I mean, like, dude, I, this is another note on like voices, but like, uh, and I'm not trying to call him out, but like, bro, Ray, um, Ray plays so much GTA and plays Ray Romanoff so fucking much. This is a Ray C, the streamer. Bro, sometimes oh, yeah, I'll be playing variety with it. Like, dude, he's, same cadence. At least he may not have like the Russian accent, but the cadence is still there. Yes, yes, dude. Oh my god, oh, we'll my be friend. playing a random yeah. variety game. And, like little bits of Russian will slip out. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, he like he doesn't like. I, I'd be curious. I, I bet you, racy vo uh, viewers would tell you that like they hear his Russian accent like when he's not playing as Ray Romanov. It slips in all the time. So there's that danger. He's got to be careful. Yeah, becoming permanently Russian. Um, God, can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, you had those people that have like woke up from a coma speaking in an accent. That could be Ray. Yeah, who knows? That, that's happened before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a, a woman Someone's that like woke been... up and like spoke or like I, 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 she like started speaking British and like had a British accent when she came what when she came fuck? to. That's wild. You guys mentioned like uh, racers that are actually, you know, not just tough guys. Like what other kind of like, what kind of characters on say on no picks or even on other servers do you guys think are kind of missing? Do you want to see more of? Full meta alchemist. <laughs> you hate it. <Anna. laughs> he just likes that character because I, the character literally just power games the whole time. <laughs> It's so good, and they and he gets away with it. He just gets away with watching people's streams while he's playing the character. He brings the stream up and watches their stream and and fucking RPs it like that. It's crazy, and I think shit like that is the funniest shit ever, man. Oh, it's... I really do think that's a funny, some of the funniest shit. Dude, stri yeah, stream sniping stuff like is Chase. actually. I'll, I'll say that I, I stream. I do this um sometimes uh when I'm off stream, I'll literally stream snipe people, and I'll I did it more back in the day but uh i did recently on mickey where like i'll pull up their stream and like they're doing some shit and i'm like oh i'm just gonna log in on mickey and just fucking call them from a anonymous phone like i'll find like a time that's like funny to like call them and just fuck with them um i like stuff like that yeah it's a bit uh i want to see um i i want to see more people uh like purposefully do dumb like purposefully make wrong choices i feel like oftentimes there's like this like viewer schematic of like what the right choices are for a character um and i want to see more people choose the, the wrong thing that goes against those years it's like um uh i granted the 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 i think the books had it a little bit differently but i feel like an example of this is um I don't know if you guys watched Game of Thrones, but there's like the fight with Oberyn Martell versus the mountain. And I feel like everyone's like, bro, why didn't he just kill him? Right. But I think that's like that scene in that fight is so iconic because of how tragically it played out. And it's like one of those things where it's like, I know the viewers were, you know, the, the view, if, if, if that was a fucking Twitch stream, they would have been like spamming oh, dude. how upset they were that yeah. fucking Oberyn didn't just finish. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like kind of so, like people who are more willing to do something like that to pull like like i've never seen someone do this but like what if you're like in a an interrogation with a cop and like you decide to actually just have the character leak something and like spill something 
Um, and not like because it was a mistake. Um, or like, cause you, you, the stream were screwing up, but you're like, yo, I think the character like slips up here and it, it'll be interesting. Right. I, I wish more people would purposefully have their characters. Like that's, a, I mean, that's what I do. I, I, I pick me, something and I commit to it. Have some foils is good. What? See, you have to do that kind of stuff. Is good. What? I know I'm saying like some basic. I watch a movie and I see like the main protagonist slip and fall or whatever. It doesn't add to their their journey and, and their successes at the end. Like the conclusion of the story isn't empowered by their their failures. What? Well, you joke, but yeah, I I feel like I'm, I mean, I'm real here, right, McCall? Like this is like no, a thing that's no, lacking. That's, yeah, I, I get what you're that's saying. What I'm saying yes. I'm the only one here that gets what you're saying, man. No, I'm I'm getting McConnell what you're putting it. down. <laughs> McConnell gets it, dude. I get it, that. bro. I'm dueling yeah. you to the death in while. Log on right now. No, I'm on a podcast right now. <laughs> You're still playing. I know you are. Nope. All my characters have double down syndrome. Three is yeah, double you, down. You you go too far with it. What do you mean I go too far with it? I mean, you double it? down pick... too much. You double down. It's it's too much double down. I pick something and I double down on it. That's what I do. Okay, apologizing to me. No, I'm not apologizing to you. Let me for tell what you something. I, Let me tell you. Listen, did to you. Mickey, listen. Yeah. If he would apologize well, plow, to me, but, you know. okay? If he would apologize, he knows. we could have RP'd for the past year and a half, maybe. We could have been RP'ing, me and Kyle. But because the character is way too, uh, too stagnant, okay? The character's stagnant, and he doesn't... You know, doesn't do anything out of the stagnant's the right word. It is, it is. You never apologize, and I think you pass up on really good RP. Okay, you and me could make a good team, but now we can't because you don't make you don't slip up on the character and you don't you don't apologize, you don't bite the bullet and, and do anything that your character wouldn't do. All right, so my character. So you two, you also play a stubborn character. I play a stubborn character. How come I'm the one on Kyle Pred that has to apologize? To because I was already guy? punished. I stopped playing the character for six months because of that. That wasn't my decision. You, you're the one that made that decision. But you made the decision you... to fucking twat the character's name out. Yeah, because it had to be done. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like you, you it just... had, no, it had to be done. What do you want me to tell you? All right, I, I how about this? Just kiss. Burn, burn as as the RPers' choice of best RPer. You are. I'm now asking. I want Watch you to critique. Twenty twenty one. I want you to critique the character Kyle. Pre what could? What would yes. make the character Kyle Pred better? Uh, what would make him better? Uh, going back to being a cop. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And do what? I did. I And do uh, what? All right, look. I'm already blacklisted pretty much from doing fucking anything as a cop on No Pixel. I get no leeway on doing a fucking thing. What's there to fucking go back to? Like, what is there for, the, for me to do on that character? <laughs> fucking nothing. Everything I tried to do, and I tried to do so fucking much. No, I it, understand. It was a breaking it. point. That's so what the fuck was I supposed to do? That's bullshit. You gave up. It was no, no, no. I did not give up. I pushed on for a, a while. Hey, never back down. Right. Never what? Never <laughs> surrender. No, it's never give up. God. Never give up, Kyle. It's never give up. But listen, imagine, okay, imagine you hadn't given up. Kyle Bred should have been the fucking commissioner. He was the people's champion. And maybe he was the if chosen you had kept one. Going with he it. led the pathway. He carried the fucking torch. <laughs> Of role play for that fucking PD for years until you he did nothing. Until you, you did get it. fucking, you get fucking nothing, dude. So if why would he stay with a cop? You might be the commissioner now. To ready quit and fucking Axel's dead. Who else is that there? Ain't happening at all. The character's a fucking warlord. You're. I'm just gonna say it. Say it. This warlord arc sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks ass. How does it suck ass in your opinion, McConnell? You're no different than any other fucking criminal, dude. Way this different. Cop, this cop sucks. Kill this cop. I, I want to kill the, let's rob this guy. Do dumb shit. So you just got to shoot him. Maybe there's a lack just in Just like leadership. how I shot you and Booba for trying to shitlord me. 
I'm glad that on Kyle Pratt I told fucking Booba to look at that MDW, and then I just one tapped the each oh, fucking me, one of you. Let me, and let then me I tell, jumped on my let, bike, and then I just yeah. fucking left without let saying me tell, a let word. Me tell Mickey, let me tell Mickey. Listen, you what did you did, we pulled that. him over. Me and, me and uh, me and me and Booba pulled him over, right? I watched and this. And this clip, motherfucker. By the way. Oh, okay, never mind. Right. Oh no, keep t- keep keep telling because it was. By the way, he smoked you guys. Like yo, I mean like. Dude, oh, that's that's my stream. He w. lined up. Yeah, he smoked me because he lined up his fucking screen to where the cursor would be. The, the fucking <laughs> no, I didn't you can see it. No, I you didn't can see him lining it up. I swear to no, God, I didn't. You can see him lining it up. No, I didn't because he knew he would he, what he was going to do. And he purposely chased clouded Booba, shot me and then killed Booba. That's what he did. Oh, this, he did. <laughs> So you're telling me Kyle's not mechanically gifted enough to t- take you guys out? No, he fucking sucks. It? What do you mean? Still did it, though. <laughs> I still took you guys out like it was fucking nothing. Thank but God I had that ring that, that gave you? me the you're quick so, pool. You're so proud of it. I mean, it had to be done. Don't you wanted it to happen? That's why you pulled your gun out and took cover immediately. I didn't. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to fucking RP and maybe... Get an apology out of you. You wanted to RP. You wanted to RP. Okay. Okay. That was a real good way of trying to RP with me. Hey, I'm going to completely ignore everything that's written about this fucking law just so I can put you in cuffs, take you to jail, and then maybe have a fucking bench trial over it. That's what yeah, we're talking real, about. That real is literally good what we're, you bring that we're fuck. talking about. We're talking about give and take, right? I'm taking you. Yeah, you were just taking. I'm taking you no, to no, no. MLB. Where was the give? give. Where, no, no, no. Give you wanted me to keep giving and, giving and giving and giving you. You were you were just coming. taking. You weren't giving the character nothing. It was coming. You, I was going to give. Oh, yeah. Let me just. All right. Take me to jail. All right. Take me off the bike that I just ran in. All right. Take my $200,000 and shit. All right. Take my fucking time and take me to court. All right. Then take my time and send me to fucking jail. What the fuck did you give? Nothing. You don't know what I was going to give. You don't know. You have no idea. You didn't give nothing. Because you weren't going to give nothing. You guys were just going to 10 Kyle me, you fuck. (laughs) You were such a fucking victim. That's all this. You have fucking victim mentality. Is that not what what was your plan? Oh, what brain was your plan? Right well, That's what happened. I don't have criminal fucking, brain rot. What the fuck were you going to do? That's right, what's going on. Okay. You tell me what you were going to do then, McConnell. <laughs> so when it comes to creating a character, what I usually like to do is... <laughs> Burn, uh, you know what I actually realized? This podcast has actually shown me the greatest character arc in all of NoPixel. And it's not even a character within the game. It's actually the streamer, Kyle Pred, who went from being a cop streamer to, and then has slowly descended into becoming the very criminal <laughs> streamer <laughs> that plays the cop. <laughs> Greatest character arc in NoPixel so history, good. not even in the server. I, actually, an OOC arc. I love it. Kyle Pred, the streamer. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you better you better be laughing at that. <laughs> it's funny, but it's also listen not 100% true. Okay. When I was a cop, I gave amazing role play. You did. Unless you pissed me off, then I just fucking shot you. Yeah, I and then it. I just would take the ban. I would have loved the commissioner pride. Maybe then Racket would have had a home. 100%. I would have started a furry cop division. God, I would have played so hard if that happened. I hated that character. Yeah, I know you don't like furries. It's okay. I understand you can't just separate a character or OOC. It's a self insert bench guy. Hates furries because McConnell hates furries. That's you think fine. bench guy's a self insert? Uh, bench guy hates furries, right? You hate furries? Sounds like a bit of a self insert trait there. You can't separate. Yeah, but that's the not what I do. I'm I'm asking if you think the whole character is a self insert. I think the whole character is a self insert. Mm-hmm. I uh, you don't go outside and sit on benches, so no. Uh, the 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 closest equivalent of that is sitting on your desk chair and playing WoW for twelve hours. Uh, yeah, that part actually is kind of similar. On a bench outside Burger Shot, so there are similarities to like a grind of like being able to succumb to like uh, like being willing to just do something like the dedication there is admirable and i and i you definitely True. got there from extensive hours of of uh world of warcraft well I, hold I on i want to say something okay all right go ahead a lot of people seem to think that 
when I was sitting on the bench, I was just tabbed out. Yeah, like, but watching. you're playing WoW, but you aren't. Yeah, I wasn't. I was not actually doing that. I believe yeah. that. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this. this is a um, this is a, this is lore from me and McCall. This is like way. This is back when I was not even a content creator. I literally just played Among Us for fun. I played Among Us with McConnell, and I remember there were games where you used to just stand still at one point, and then you would just not, you would just stay there for the whole game, and then you wouldn't say anything in the meeting until like the very end, and then you'd just be like, this person's the imposter, vote them out. And that was like, that was your the dedicated bit of, you used to do some really uh, dedicated shit in that. I remember yeah, playing Among I mean, Us with you. Fun. Those are good days. Simpler days. Um, way, way simpler. <laughs> Those are actually worse, simpler days. Holy um, shit. All right, Burn, what do you, um, what's your critique for uh, the character Mickey? Let's hear that one. How do you make Mickey a better character? How do you make Mickey a better character? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I really enjoyed a lot of what you did with that character. I, I wasn't expecting the amount of like Ocean's Eleven type of situations that you would try to bring into GTA. I, I it was cool. It was cool to see. I, I there weren't very many people doing like extensive, strenuous prep for. Like I feel like there's some where you 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 take like hours and be like, don't worry, chat, let me cook, and then you'd you'd have like some crazy getaway, some fun like plan that was like engaging. For not only the criminals, but also the, uh, you know, the, like just like everybody involved could have some fun. They love to see that. Um, okay, so now that, that you've gla now that you've glazed it, now give the critique. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I, dude, I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't say it. I can't. I'm no, sorry. say it. Just I'll get say it. Off. I'll get kicked off. No, just say um, it. I won't kick you off. Just say it. I, I listen to, to fucking mom and dad fighting for the last 10 minutes. You think I'm going to kick you off for it? Come on. Well, that was content. So why that, would you? That was content. It's true. Just fucking say it, pussy. Say it. I think Mickey is a great support character. Fuck. Damn. Why is that a fuck? I mean, that's no, that's that's a it's a good thing and a bad thing. So, uh, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to like feel bad, but like, I I feel like he he is at his best when he's working with others, which I is, agree, actually. is is a part of which is like a I mean, role play in general is all about like give and take, right? So it is a good thing, but it can no. also be a bit of a crutch to the character itself because it's like, well. You know, I kind of need some people here. Uh, I it's funny you say that. I probably for like the because I'm I'm planning to bring him back for a little bit specifically for one group. Um, but oh, speaking of characters and also just good role players, uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, interacted with the guys from um, a bunch of them came from Wild Art people like uh, Z Tark and a bunch oh, of the guys. The Shenzos. Yeah, the Dechenzos. Dude, I love them. Their, their characters are sick. Um, I, I'm coming back to do. Um, yeah, I actually basically want to do a supporting role thing with them and basically set them up to do some cool jobs and literally just have Mickey like help with that. The one thing I wish, and I wish I could just like get a dev to help me with this. I just like the one thing I've always wanted on NoPixel. I just want to be able to spawn in vehicles that won't disappear. And I'll role play it like I, I bought or like shipped them in from some black market, but like, you know what I mean? only I, like uh, personal, personally owned vehicles that don't despawn or? Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay. it's like one of those, it's like one, it's like literally one of the, it's a weird mechanics thing in GTA, but I feel like I could do so, it's like one little mechanical thing. If I could fix that, I could do so much cooler stuff with like jobs and, and heists and stuff like that. If I could just make it so that Vehicles don't despawn. Um, or not like all of them, right? Because there's a reason they despawn. But like if I could spawn in some that have like despawn proof uh, whatever on them, you know? But uh, that, Well, like what type of vehicles are you trying to spawn in? Because I feel like that would be the biggest drawback to whether uh, or not you can even have that happen or not. Oh, it can be even just, it can be even the most basic ones. Um, yeah. 
Like literally, oh, okay. literally the ones that already exist. I mean, like, yeah, like eventually, uh, obviously, uh, eventually, you know, because listen, this is a this is the nature of like of you know characters have to go to bigger extremes. So does you know kind of the nature of like kind of arcs within the server. Things kind of get more and more extreme. Yeah, eventually, I want to spawn in some fucking you know f14 fighter jets and do a fucking fighter jet heist yeah duh but like and it's like the nature of like the fast and furious movies right like the second one has to be bigger than the first the third has to be bigger than the second yeah so eventually when i get into like heist number 12 yeah i want to spawn in some fucking jet bombers and shit but not in the first what's day what's the yeah. end though what's the end what do you mean what's the, the end? end you die for mickey yeah um I think that's how everyone's end we all die eventually well you know what i mean no, oh i i actually oh i actually could answer this for like for mickey's like mickey as a character like what the character does now i actually think mickey's end is that he becomes the uh like he basically becomes the teacher to like a new crew um i it was like it was i was kind of like lost on mickey for what to do and then the uh like zetar can then join the server and I just randomly gave them the mission of, and I love this because it was not a mechanics mission. I gave I love them the, mission RP so much. Yeah, I gave them the mission of steal the panther from the clean manor, which is like our like symbol of robbing the casino. And it was just to like see if they could do it, right? And they, you can't actually steal it, but they role played it out that they did, right? Um, and then the idea is that like Mickey then realizes their potential as a crew, and then realize that he can teach them everything that he knew from the crew that he used to run with back in the day. I think that's kind of like his end arc. Okay. And then he dies because we all die. Well, I don't what know. If he didn't die, though. Oh, okay. Well, what's, what's as Mr. Cinematic Black Bar's music guy, what, what would be your sign off song? Have you even thought of that or considered that since the character's creation? Like its finality, what would be Mickey's finale? Oh, what song? Or like, how does Mickey like go down? No, I like the song. I guess I could. Depend on Where is my mind? Dies, the Pixies. But... That's mine. Oh, um, the uh, is it Vanessa Carlson? Whatever the Thousand Miles song. There goes my hero. No, uh, the oh, one that's Thousand Miles. Okay. Yeah. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass. On. That song. Yeah. And I'm homebound. Yeah. Mm. Good taste. All right. What other? Uh, what new characters are you guys gonna cook up? In the future, Burn, are you coming back? What are you coming back, Burn? Yeah, come on, Burn. Uh, I don't like roleplay. What? Yeah. What are you? What are you talking about? Um, I I made a promise that I wouldn't stream until I I've personally seen or or do like roleplay again until I've seen McConnell stream at least five times. So until then, guys, this is bullshit. I want to know sunset. when you're actually gonna play on No Pixel or whatever, whenever. Whenever no you're gonna pixel? play, yeah. Just what are you? What are you gonna fucking play again, bro? When are you gonna fucking RP again? Because you know I do RP. I've been playing yeah. Bench Guy. I have been playing that character. So what the fuck are you doing? Uh, you know what? October. I'll be back. <gasps> what? Ooh. It could be a lot sooner. You could do it tomorrow. No, no, no. Let him let, let's let's leave it at October. That sounds good. Kyle, what's your next character? Or what's next for Kyle Pred? Mm. Fuck, I, I should get on Mickey so Mickey and Kyle can do stuff. You're a criminal now. Bro, I always wanted to do shit with Kyle. And we got like a little bit of it. Gonna have we to go to corrupt. jail. <laughs> Are you locked in jail? I'm in jail for like 16 more days. Can you be broken out? No, a mechanic doesn't exist. <laughs> you can try. You can try. You can try. That'd I got a, I got a decent amount of characters. Like I wrote up a bunch of stuff in like a journal. Got like a, we got a few things that I'm thinking about. But all right, tease us with one. Hit us with one that you haven't. Uh, just like a little little thought. Deep. Dangle it out there. All right. Well. uh have you ever seen the movie uh, Me, Myself, and Irene? That's a good movie. Think about doing a schizo cop. I think that would be a good one. Ooh. Like, but not, yeah, so it's like, but he'd have to have, like, things that trigger him, so he's just not, like, at every stop, just, like, you know, a complete nut job. Like, he has to have, like, certain rules and guidelines. Basically, it's, like, taking 
I'm trying to add like uh like uh negatives and positives to characters that like I can do and then like incorporate like I bought like a whole bunch of d20s that I can roll and like Ooh. incorporate into my role play for like it like really it's like uh if I'm going to like put a lot of effort into trying to convince somebody it's like man I really want to get this done. All right, let's roll for persuasion. Natural one. Fuck you. <laughs> You know, like, like I actually do like a whole bunch of like stuff like that. I actually do leaving a lot of it up to chance. Dude, or, like I, changing the like you, it just like keeps you on the fly. I like that. I like. Bro, that I, I wish there was like some like quick. I I actually think having a quick hotkey for like something like that would be cool. Um, I I forgot when it was. I had there was like a cop who like like I was in a chase and the cop like jumped on my jet ski or whatever and was like. And was literally like, you know, I, I forgot who it was. It was great, uh, great cop role player. And they were like, they were like, they literally like were like, you know, throws Mickey off jet ski. And then they, you know, did the like roll one, uh, 120. And then they got like a, a six or something. They're like, oh, fuck. And then they fell off themselves. And it was like kind of cool to like have it be more sort of rant, like have th like things like that be more sort yeah, of I random. Yeah, I like that shit too. I don't think that stuff's done enough. That's one of the things, um, it, I feel I, like uh, people get too locked in into the path that they really want their character to stick to. But when you start add, add, like, you can still do the character you want, but once you add, like, that random element of, like, things that kind of, like, aren't, like, taking a lot of decisions, kind of, or the effort that you put into certain things, like, into, like, the luck of a, a, a dice roll, oh, it, it adds some get? cool stuff. That reminds me, we're talking about good characters, fucking uh, the LGX... He's uh Roland Nelson, Roland. the OG. Roland was Man. sick. Bro, Dude. that character is so addictive to watch. It's it's addictive to watch yeah. him play that character. It's amazing. And I it was so good. I asked him permission if I could make a, a dice character, and I have one. I don't yeah. play it as good as he does, but it's it's still fucking fun, you know? Mm-hmm. I but love what that. What I like shit. about that is is for for the instance of when you're on on the jet ski and the cop was trying to push you off and, and let slash mead, instead yeah. of making it kind of awkward, it's like oh well he kind of did that. It, it can be a little like power gaming to slash me and say like shoves you off the jet ski, but to add like the dice roll, it's like okay, there's it's a little fair if he rolls above like a certain amount, then I'll just I'll fall off, I'll, I'll succumb to it, right? Yeah, basically, I I think anything I think it lets that, it make less, it makes it less power. power anything gaming. that there's not like a mechanic for. Yeah, because it's not like power games. It's like, yeah, if like a cop did get on the jet ski, they'd be able to pull you off. Or, yeah. well, not necessarily. There'd be like a tussle for, right? And like There who, would be resistance. Right, and who knows who, you know, wins in that. I think any situation that can't be covered by a mechanic, man, I, I'm going to look into this. I want to see if I can just like hotkey the like roll 120 and then just like anything where it's like you can't. Camp. I've done that before. Fuck it, I'm going to hockey it because that sounds sick. I would do that on all of my characters for, and not like overuse it. Like, I, I think, yeah, there's like dice characters, which are, which are sick. But I think actually, I think dice characters are so good that that kind of almost mechanic should be included in every character. Like, I would almost want that as like a default hotkey that, and like certain things are decided that way. It just make things more interesting. Yeah. And then chat can't flame people for it. So. They'll find uh, a way. In terms of your question about like what character, I mean, I uh, we were talking about doing like a, a redneck gang. I don't know if that's is it. You think that's a good idea? A what? A what gang? A redneck gang where we just go around and got a leader that uh, you know we just. Oh hell yeah! I always, brother. I always wanted. Uh, that's I always one of the few to... voices I can do. <laughs> I always wanted Kate a suburban, Cota a boys. suburban dad gang. A oh, suburban dad gang would be good. Dude, I got a good. bit that I'm trying to do. I was gonna. I haven't set it up yet. I, I want to set it up soon, where uh, I get a bunch of people to play family members, and we just go inside someone's house and pretend to be their parents. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. I could be. Pretty, I could see that being pretty good. Yeah, if they go along with it. Have fun robbing that bank today. <laughs> I'd love I and McConnell, I'd love to see like a like a gang like up in Sandy, not necessarily even like a biker gang, but kind of like dude, these are like these are kind of scary like these are scary trailer IRL, boys. but like the true like kind of like yeah, trailer boys oh, yeah. like breaking bad, like kind of like meth kind of uh gangs, like that kind of shit's kinda 
Yeah, that'd be sick, actually. The only thing is, like, I, I don't know if I just don't know the meta or whatever, but there's, like, nothing in Sandy. There's, like, there needs to be more shit that you can do. Same with Polito, to be honest. I wish there was more. Do I not know the meta, or am I right? Out. No, I think you're right. That's what I want, too. Oh, no, I, I think I think you're right. I think, um... I mean, that's another thing that actually limits kind of characters is just where you can even play the character, right? Like you could do a lot more. Um, you do a lot more if, if, if places like Sandy were super popular or Polito were super popular, right? Um, yeah, they're not really RP hubs. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. I mean, I so the other day they were talk, uh, Kyle was talking about how the server limit was what, 32 or something? What did you say it was? Yeah, 32. And he was talking about, you know, you wouldn't really have trouble finding people. And I'm like, I mean, you got 250 people and it's hard to find people now. So I don't know where the fuck people are at or where they were at. Because now was everybody just kind of circle jerks in their clicks, whereas before you had to go out and find people to role play with. Yeah, I, I, I do. I do yeah, feel that. RP, me and uh, um, the RP hubs mattered. Dude, me and me and uh, me and Elam. So I, I was back in No Pixel just two days ago, and me and Elam were were literally trying to go around to find people to just rob shoes off of, and we I couldn't we couldn't find people. It was actually hard. Like I'd like go. I mean, I, I'll be I basically metagame. Like my character doesn't know where City Hall was, but I was like, fuck it, we'll just go to City Hall and just see if we can find. I know that that's a hub where there might be people, and then we you know rob the mayor. But Your like, car's got a GPS. City Hall's mark. That's true. GPS. Yeah, I, I, I also, my, I also feel like there's a lot of stuff that people consider meta that I don't really care. Like if it's basic map stuff, basic mechanics, I don't care if people carry that over from one character to the next. Um, but yeah, I, I, I did feel like the, I don't know, I, I felt like I couldn't find as many people. I don't really know how you solve that issue though, opening up things more, but maybe you. I mean, I, I just don't know where people are at. What, like, uh, where do they hang out at? I mean, I watched some VODs from 2.0 stuff, and I mean, there would always be people, people at the the hotel, th uh, pink, uh, pink Cage, you know? Pink Cage was the best. And mm -hmm. you'd see people there. And then now I, I go, I'm on bench guy, and I'm trying to, like, you know, give away my fucking millions of dollars just to, like, have some RP. And I go by the apartments and there's nobody fucking there. There's nobody doing anything in the apartments. Or people are. Which the brings up another question of fucking green zones. Should green zones exist? I don't know. Uh, green zones are bullshit, but I got to head out because I got a meeting I got to go to real well, fast. God this, damn it. Honestly, we got through all the topics that you guys actually stayed longer than uh, I was even planning on for. So, guys, thank you so much, Burn, Kyle, McConnell. McConnell, I'm I sorry. Didn't mean, I'm, I'm sorry PUBG. for. Oh, no, no, like no. This is that was standing. literally uh, perfect timing for this. Um, guys, thanks for coming on the podcast. Thanks for... Uh, oh, we, we got, All right, Blau. We, you guys got into some stuff, Kyle McConnell. Um, you know, maybe you guys... We always talking. do. Hey, oh, I'm talking about this a little bit. Every day. Yeah, we guys kept the, you guys got a little spicier today. I like this angle for the podcast. That's, that's us every day, though. Maybe I should just, just go full drama. Maybe I should just go full Jerry yes! Springer drama for this. Yes! Hey, hey, make a WoW character. Make a WoW character. Defies, yeah. pillager, roll, alliance. Come play with us.